Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we are going to be talking about TAT, TAT lifestyle, lifestyle and sciences. Uh, if you're not aware what this company does, they basically sell you um, hemp based beyond like they call it beyond tobacco, but it's basically a hemp cigarette. They're selling you a hemp cigarette, not a tobacco cigarette. And they're calling it Beyond Tobacco. That's their market marketing. They are trying to get people to switch from smoking a tobacco to, I mean, a cigarette to a hemp cigarette. And, you know, it's supposed to help people get off the cigarettes. It's supposed to help people, um, you know, not smoke as much or have the option to, you know, smoke something that's healthier for you, which is hemp. And, you know, CBD is good for you. I don't know, actually, I don't know if CBD is good for you. Uh, I'm not I'm not a doctor, I don't know for sure. But there are people that says that, uh, that have said that they like the feeling of, you know, being on CBD, like, consistently, where they, you know, they, they feel like they're healthier, but there's no scientific fact behind it. At least not yet anyways. But anyways, I still think that, you know, a hemp cigarette is way better than a tobacco cigarette. But the re most, the biggest reason why people smoke tobacco is for the nicotine. So I don't know how well the products will do, but this is great, great marketing. Um, and I think that TAT will do very well in the future. But hey, that's just my opinion. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm like, I was actually kind of shocked when I saw this news. I bought a little bit of shares, so I am a shareholder at the moment. Uh, so I bought some more shares when I saw this news, and you know, I'm just shocked at the volume that's trading because this news came out, and I was like thinking that you know, this is pretty big. Uh, you know, getting people to sign up for free packs of tat. That's pretty big. That's like good marketing, in my opinion. Very smart marketing. Give people a sample, you know, get the, and then their, uh, those guys will get their friends to try it out, and those friends will sign up. This, this serves two purposes. Purpose number one, it gives the company access to uh, a database of a lot of possible uh, customers for the future. So that's really, really smart marketing. And the more and more people sign up, like what happened millions of people sign up for this free pack, right? What happened they have a million people under their belt and then they can start getting those million people to buy the, the, the TAT products directly on an e-commerce website and they just ship it directly to their, their door instead of selling it in the into the retail stores, which they have to give the retailers a cut of the profit margins and if they can get a huge amount of customer database then they can you know sell to these customers instead of selling it to the stores which increases their profit margins i think this is very smart i'm just shocked that uh you know retail investors and big money doesn't push the stock price up and hey, that's just the uh, the way the market works. I mean, retail investors don't control uh, the movement of the price of the stock. But I, I thought that was a good uh, move. And I uh, when I saw that news, I bought more shares. Uh, not going to disclose how many shares I bought, but I have more shares of this company. And if the price keeps dipping, I will keep adding on to my position. That is my plan moving forward. We'll see where TAT goes, but you know, I think that was a pretty genius idea of TAT. Moving on, very 420, ha ha ha, that's hilarious. 420 for a very good food company, price tire, price. It's, uh, I find that hilarious. Uh, so yeah, volume is really good today. Almost 5 million shares traded today. Very, very good volume. Very happy with the amount of interest and volume that is trading on this company. Like I said, I'm a long-term 
uh, the stock could pull back and have a correction, but you know that just creates an opportunity. All the all the stock could just trade sideways for a while, uh, you know, let the RSI and MACD calm down, and then big news comes out like an earnings report or their facility or some kind of big news, and the stock can make the new highs. That is a possibility, but there's also now a risk too. If the company comes out at these prices and they raise more money, the stock will tank. So I'm hoping the company doesn't have to raise any money from now till maybe next year once their facility in uh, in uh, California is operational and their Vancouver facility is, uh, is operational and the Vancouver restaurant and facility is operational. And then I would like them to see them raise money. I'm hoping they raise money at like six, seven dollars per share, not at four dollars per share. Maybe even at ten dollars per share. I would be happy if I see them raise money at ten dollars per share. But will they? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't even know if the price will hit ten dollars per share. But I would love that. I would love to see that. But you know, yeah, you know, they. Uh, 1,000% return on investment. I I haven't had a thousand return. I had never had 1,000 re, uh, return on investment. Aurora was around, I think, 700% return on investment when it hit $14. I've never had a thousand. I'm hoping very good food companies uh, becomes my very first 1,000% return on investment. Uh, the, the very good food company VRYY is tr uh, trading 3 million shares on the US exchange that is really good volume lots of new investors not a lot of investors are buying into this company right now and that's a good sign uh, snap I don't know why I have snap up it's probably just from my old tab but yeah snap is just trading sideways today the presidential election it seems like uh, Biden is gaining traction over Trump, but uh, we'll see what happens. Now it's about 3 million uh, votes uh, difference between Trump and Biden. And Biden is, is very, very close to that 270. I think Trump needs a miracle to win this. But hey, that's just my opinion. We'll see what happens. Beyond meat. Beyond Meat up $2.24, not too much to say about that. And this is my same tab from last time. The Spy, the Spy looks bullish. Like, it looks bullish. MACD looks like it's going to go, it's going to start an uptrend here very soon. Uh, I think uh, in the next week or so, uh, by the end, maybe even by the end of the week, I think we're gonna break 352.43. That's my opinion anyways. We'll see if that happens. Uh, the market, yeah, the like the overall market still looks very strong. I think that if Biden wins, I think oil might, you know, tank a little bit, but I could be wrong. It's strange that oil is up with Europe going into lockdown. And we all know that Biden will put the United States in lockdown if, if he was told to do it. Trump will not, but Biden will. And, you know, that could, you know, that could be a catalyst for the stocks to go down. I don't know at the end of the day. If the United States declared lockdown in most of the states because Biden uh, is the president and he decided to lock down the country, I, I, I can see the stock tanking a little bit. But then we get all, but then you also have to remember that stimulus, the stimulus will get passed after the election. And you know that could be in that, like that could be counteract the the lockdown, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Hylion, Hylion is up forty three cents uh, after hours. Uh, Lordstown is pulling back a little bit. Uh, it had a nice uh, skyrocket today. Now it's pulling back. Uh, Workhorse is down a dollar forty one eight percent. Uh, Solo is, you know, doing okay today, kind of trading sideways, had a nice pop and then pulled back a little bit. Nano Dimension is down 11 cents or 10 cents. Blink today is down 3.44%. GameStop is down, well it, well, it was down a lot more and then it's popping back up again. Zoom is just keeps going up 
Xilinx is following AMD. AMD goes up. Xilinx go up. Uh, where is AMD? I don't know. Man, my 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 thing is my, uh my tabs are not in proper order. Snap is just trading sideways. Nvidia is up five point three two percent. ACB is down forty. 47 cents today We'll see where this goes tomorrow uh, CGC is also down one dollar and sixty two. I think that Aurora follows canopy if canopy goes down tomorrow Aurora will probably go down tomorrow Cron is down seven point two eight percent Afria is Doing not bad Oh, Look, it's yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's not, not doing not bad compared to the rest of the market Liberal Health Science is popping back to 46 cents. Harv is uh, up a penny. Planet 13 trading side. AMD up 6% today. 6%. So yeah, uh, Ride is up for 70 cents. Uh, workhorse, uh, man, my tabs are everywhere. This game star Doc, <laughs> Doc Cloud MD is up four dollars and seven cents, three hundred and ten million dollar market cap. The very good food company is two hundred and twenty nine million dollar market cap. So I I still you know that's why I'm kind of still bullish on Very, but uh, we'll see what happens in the near future. Uh, Cineplex is up today six cents. Kind of strange that it's up when there's lockdowns going on. They're having earnings coming up here very soon on November 13th. High tide is down five cents. Uh, yeah. ACB is down 47 cents. Uh, we talked about that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.